Colorado anyway right now. What not watching as I throw them <laughs> under the bus uh, at the moment. Low today, 31 degrees. Back to freezing. It was a cold morning out there this morning with uh, DFW Airport officially dropping below that 32 degree mark. The last freeze prior than today. That was back on November 27th, and that was only our second freeze of the season today. So we've only had two November 27th and on today as well. Now, normally at this point in the winter, we would have averaged about nine. So we're running behind schedule. We were a, a little late in our first freeze. The average first freeze is November 22nd. So November 27th. I mean, it's not too terribly later than average, but a little later than average, and we are running behind schedule as of now with a nine or two freezes and we're averaging nine today. Remember, we averaged 29 for the entire winter season here, so we got a ways to go if we're going to get uh, close to normal here. But January, the coldest month of the year normally, and I actually do have a couple freezes in our future before the uh, rest of the week is done. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. In the meantime, 56 the high today, right on normal for this time of the year. The low, as we talked about, 31, which is a little below normal. Normal low is 37. And it's nice to see the rainfall that we had leading up to Christmas has gotten us above normal for the month. Three and a half inches of rain were above normal by uh, well over an inch there, but for the year, we still continue to be quite below normal with a deficit of seven inches for that yearly rainfall. 53 outside right now with those clear skies. Those temperatures will continue to fall overnight tonight, but uh, it continues also to be cedar season and mountain cedar is high and fungus is low. So there are the clear skies that we have right now. We actually have a front that will move through tonight, but really all it is is kind of a reinforcing shot of cool air. Not going to bring us any showers or storms or anything like that. It'll move through kind of around daybreak, maybe a little prior to daybreak tomorrow morning. All it's going to do is kind of shift the winds back out of the north again and cooler air will spill into North Texas uh, tomorrow and actually going to be a little cooler tomorrow than what we we're dealing with today. Not so much in the morning. Most of you above freezing, but it's still cold to chilly start mid to upper 30s. I mean, there could be a location or two outside of DFW that briefly drops down to that freezing point tomorrow morning, but I don't expect as widespread freezing and frosty conditions out there tomorrow morning like we saw this morning. There you go. And then tomorrow afternoon, a little cooler than today. Highs maybe only in the upper 40s, closer to the Red River, low 50s elsewhere. So that'll be a little below normal for this time of the year. And it's a lot of seasonable weather through the rest of the week and into the upcoming weekend. I mean, yeah, a little below normal the rest of the week, work week here. 52 tomorrow, 49 on Thursday, 53 for your Friday. A little above normal for the weekend, but it's, you know, Thursday, 7 degrees below. Sunday, seven degrees above. So you average that out and right around normal. So there you go. I mean, it's just about what we expect. A little above normal at times, a little below normal at times, but I don't have anything to worry about as we head into the new year either. For your New Year's Eve plans, an early look at that. Seven o'clock, it's 50 degrees. 10 o'clock, we'll drop down into the 40s. And by the time you're ringing into the new year, it'll be chilly. Do you expect anything else on a uh, New Year's Eve evening for you? 42 degrees by the time we roll into 2024. Chilly and seasonable tonight. 36 will be your low. And then tomorrow, cooler, dry, and breezy. 52 for the high tomorrow afternoon. A little cooler on Thursday. I showed you that a second ago. 49, 53 Friday. 60s for the upcoming week. Actually, a really nice weekend. A chilly morning followed by a pleasant afternoon. You see some freezing temperatures there this week. Friday and Saturday morning. Maybe getting close to it on Thursday morning as well. As we head into 2020. 24. Rain chances hold off for New Year's Day, but we could have a disturbance or two next week that brings us some chances for rain. Right now, maybe Tuesday into Wednesday could have some rain around. And Friday into Saturday of that first weekend of January could have some rain around as well. But between now and then, we stay dry. A lot of nice weather headed your way, but maybe a little cool at times. Kyle, thank you. We need to get to some